Five on-screen duos. My God. How the hell am I supposed to pick out just five? Man. Hux, why you gotta do this kind of challenge, man? Five? Man, I got like 20, 30. Man. I'm not doing this challenge, Hux. Man, what the... I'm just joking. Anyways, welcome back. It is yours truly, Nick, a movie AV Impulse. And man, does it feel good to be back. I really missed y'all, but I wanted to really kick things off with the challenge that Hux over at Hux Cafe has given out, which is picking out your top five. Yes, just five. He did kind of ask, well, he didn't do any honorable mentions, so I will follow suit. But basically, just two people that are on the big screen that definitely share and just have something special. I will link that original video down below as well as tag Hux. If you don't know who he is, he does all sorts of stuff. Um, movie hunts and hauls and I mean, there's just too many to list. The guy just goes on and on and he's a fantastic editor. Maybe one day I can have his skills when it comes to editing, but for now, I guess you'll have to deal with me. Anyways, I'm gonna show you my top five and I'm sorry, Hux, I did have to cheat just a little bit because the nostalgia of this one TV series, when it came to sharing the on-screen moments, I just can't let it go. So bear with me. Coming in at number five is going to be Fight Club. Now, this is my buddy Todd's like favorite movie of all time. But Edwin Norton and Brad Pitt on the screen together was just so like mind blowing. I just can't believe, especially the ending, but I just couldn't believe how great and fantastic they both were when sharing the screen together because you have Edwin Norton who, no matter what he's in, no matter what role he plays, he is just top-notch actor. I don't know why nobody really gives him his credit when it comes to that. I kind of wish he would have stuck with being the Hulk because I was just kind of used to seeing him be the Hulk. Um, you know, I did really enjoy that first movie that he did, that he starred in, and all because Disney wouldn't give him credit on something. He ended up leaving the production, and that's when Mark Buffalo came in, and I kind of feel when a <clears throat> Coming in at number four. Now, this one, just this movie, when it comes to mafia movies, I absolutely love, and I mean, Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro on the same screen is just absolutely mind-blowing, especially when it comes to Mafia movies. So Casino is going to come in at number four for me. I just absolutely, y'all know me, y'all know my channel. I am obsessed with gangster and Mafia movies. That is my number one genre, and I absolutely love it. And Casino just takes the cake for me when it comes to Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro sharing the screen. They both command your attention. They both command respect. And they just suck you in like it's just you wouldn't believe it. It's just boom. Coming in at number three is a movie from my favorite director, Quentin Tarantino. And when it comes to on screen in Pulp Fiction, when Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta are on the big screen together, there's just a chemistry that I can't explain. They just work so well off of each other. And again, two actors that just totally demand all the respect and the attention when they enter the room. So it's great to see them bouncing off each other. It is just another one, mind blowing. I know I'm running through this kind of quick, but you know, just gonna be a little short video. Coming in at number two is always going to hold such a nostalgia for me. Um, you know, me and my cousin always watched this movie, always shared it. Y'all know the story. But if you're new to my channel, this is me and my cousin's favorite movie of all time. And that is going to be Bad Boys 1. I mean, and part two at this point. But, you know, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith on the big screen together. You, you just couldn't go wrong. They just... These two movies, they had something that just 
in the you know third installment they just couldn't capture that again and it's kind of sad you know part three is just not the greatest but part one is my favorite part two is definitely you know up there but bad boys i mean you you can't go wrong with bad boys all right hucks i'm sorry this is where i have to cheat but when it comes to nostalgia just remembering as a kid this relationship on screen it wasn't on the big screen it was on a tv screen but it was just that love between man and machine and come on if y'all know me y'all know where i'm going with this and that's going to be knight rider this series just holds a special place in my heart i own the dvd of all four seasons own the blu-ray of all four seasons I've got collectibles, the cars in Super Pursuit mode, the license plate. I just can't get enough of Knight Rider. And they just, you know, David Hasselhoff and Kit on the same screen is just one of a kind. I'm sorry, Hux. I had to cheat a little bit, but I hope you like my top five. And I didn't do any honorable mentions because, well, you didn't do it in your video. So I'm not going to do it in mine. But you guys know my usual top fives are definitely always with honorable mentions. But today, this is for you. And I'm not going to, you know, change your rules except for just a little bit of cheating. I have to. Hux is just such a nostalgia for me. I will watch this over any movie period I, I know that sounds crazy but i just love knight rider anyways i will see you on the next video hit that like hit that subscribe hit that share you know all those usual things that everybody else tells you to do and more y'all definitely do the hux challenge it's hard it's tough but man is it fun so until the next time peace <laughs> Thank you. I need you love me.